Hello, it's Carmel here of Carmel Craves and today I'm going to share with you my three ingredient fresh strawberry glazed pie. The three ingredients obviously are the fresh strawberries, one pre-baked pie crust and then strawberry glaze. And this is a bonus video. So I'm also going to show you a quick recipe how to make your own strawberry glazed using a packet of strawberry flavored jello. So the problem with the store-bought glaze is it is overly sweet and it's all one note. So the second best thing is to use the Danish dessert. It comes in a little box in the jello section. In a pinch, when you don't have Danish dessert, you make your own. So we're going to move it on over to the stove top and I'm going to show you the simple recipe for my strawberry glaze. Into the pot, I'm going to pour one and a half cups of cold water. I have three quarters cup of granulated sugar. The recipe calls for a full cup, but I prefer three quarters. And then just a pinch of salt and one package of strawberry flavored Kool-Aid. This recipe can also be made using strawberry jello, but I prefer the Kool-Aid because you can control the amount of sweetness. And then just because I have it, I wanted to use some fresh grated lemon zest. I had half a lemon in the refrigerator and I think it gives it just a slight tartness. To the mixture, I'm going to whisk in some cornstarch. This is three and a quarter, three and a half tablespoons of cornstarch. The recipe calls for simply three to four. When I'm making a pie, I want the glaze nice and thick. And I'm going to start with three and a half tablespoons and see what we have. So turn your stove top up to medium high. Bring this mixture to a boil and then cook and stir it until it's nice and thick and clear. Now since I'm using a 9 inch pie crust, I want to make sure that I have enough strawberry glaze. So I went ahead and added another quarter cup of water. So total I have 1 and 3 quarters cup of water here. Alright, when it's bubbling and nice and thick, we're there. Beautiful. Alright, so here's a trick for you. You've got to cool down your hot glaze so you can pour it over your strawberries and not burn them. So what you do is you put your glaze in a small bowl and add ice and water into a larger bowl. And then you just place it in the center and you whisk it until it's cool to the touch. Just stick your little pinky finger in there and when it's nice and cool you can move on. And because I'm impatient like that, I throw my freshly baked pie crust into the fridge. Because we are burning daylight. All that's left to do now is to fill your cool pie crust with your strawberries. This is two pounds. All I did was I kept them whole. We used to go to a restaurant called Frontier Pies. It was here in Utah and it is no longer there. So this was our favorite pie on the menu and I love keeping the strawberries whole because I love that rustic look. But feel free to slice them up if you want. But fill your crust with as many strawberries as you can get and then take your cooled glaze and just simply pour it over the top. And then you're gonna to wanna to put this in the refrigerator until the glaze is set. And then top it with some whipped cream if you prefer, if you prefer or just serve it as is. And that is it, my friends. This is another fabulous, crave-worthy recipe that I hope you'll try. And I hope you'll join me again next Monday and if you haven't already, go ahead and click subscribe. I would love to have you tune in every week as I share with you my favorite crave-worthy recipes. We'll see you later. One more tip before you go. So to keep your pie crust from going soggy, what you want to do before you bake that pie shell, whether it's a homemade one or store-bought, you want to take a little bit of granulated sugar. I took just a good pinch and then I sprinkled it all over the inside of that pie shell. And once you bake it, that sugar melts and it kind of forms a barrier between your pie filling and the crust. So this pie will be nice and crisp, hopefully, for our Sunday dessert after church tomorrow. I've got one more hack for you. Since I'm feeling like a smarty pants here, I'm gonna show you. I don't know if this is smart or silly, but I can never beat my whipping cream without it splattering all over. It doesn't matter how tall my bowl is. So I put the bowl into a grocery sack here, and then I pull it up high 
stick my blender in, and then the only thing you gotta watch out for is the air intake. Just hold the sack away from that and mix away.